The Baltimore City School students get ready to embark on a new school year. It also marks the ninth and final year for its CEO. Dr. Sonia Santelisa sits down with WJZ to talk about the progress made and the needs for continued improvement. I'm Stefan Dingle joins us now in the studio with more. Stefan. Hey there, uh, Nikki and Rick. Uh, doctor, for Dr. Sonia Santelisa, her final year as City School CEO is thematically about championing the underdog and building on the momentum of a school district that she says is positioned to become a premier district where all city school students can receive a full education. Another school year marks another chance to build on the momentum within Baltimore City Schools. But its CEO, Dr. Sonia Santelises, will be the first to tell you they're a work in progress, but now it takes a team effort. The team of city schools that really took very seriously, like my charge to say we've, we have to approach the education of our city's children the way we approach the education of our own. That approach has allowed a district historically challenged by its socioeconomic pitfalls, lagging test scores, low graduation rates, and gun violence to meet students and staff where they are to achieve a common goal. Making sure that kids have, young people have full educations. Um, you know, I'm proud of the gains we've had in, in arts education and our student government numbers make me smile every time I see them. That student engagement, especially after the pandemic, was important for the city school's leader. Since then, student graduation rates and attendance are up. Strides are being made in testing. Our AP scores are up. Um, we have the highest number of African-American students in, that we have had in city schools enrolled in advanced placement classes. And more importantly, staff leadership across the board has been a focal point to restore consistency and trust to city schools. Um, we have new principals coming in. We made some leadership shifts. So this is not just a coast year. Really thrilled about our new head of um, school police um, and that working relationship with the community. Dr. Santelises doesn't hold back on the large amounts of work that still need to be done, but says City Schools is restoring their pride with leaders who believe in the current momentum. It's people who believe in this and who bring excellence, and Baltimore City deserves that. They don't deserve the warmed over leftovers who couldn't be anyplace else. But she credits her team, the many community partners, and a mayor who is a City Schools alum for helping to lay the foundation of the district's future. And so I think his leadership has provided kind of that inspiration and push to say, how do we work better across the city? As she enters her final year as one of the longer serving school CEOs, Dr. Santelises takes pride in the foundation that has been laid for the city school's next CEO, whom she hopes comes in and continues to champion the underdog. We have, we have strong people here who could be doing other things, but they believe like I do. This is about expanding excellence, not draining a swamp. As Dr. Santelises finishes her final year as city school CEO, she says whoever leads next, she just hopes they listen and get right to work on the things that still need to be addressed to continue the district's momentum. Send it back to you. All right, Stefan, thank you. Make sure to stay with WJZ for Ready, Set, School. We're going to show you how all of the local school districts are getting ready now. And you can see all of those stories right on our website. That's a special section in the middle of our homepage or scan that QR code in the middle of your screen there.